pretty good. I'm so <laughs> tired. Yeah, exciting Sunday. Oh yeah, we had this study group at David's place. Oh. Pretty wild day. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> Babe, are you drinking? When did you become a day drinker without me? Well, I wanted this to be a proper Skype date and it's dinner time for you. <laughs> it can be a Skype date with bacon, eggs, and good old fashioned milk. Well, I'll make it a mimosa next time. Always. <laughs> what? How about I'll drink and drink to keep myself occupied until you come home? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> That's a long time to be drunk though. Yeah, sure, but think about how romantic it would be if you tearfully checked me into rehab, refused to leave my side as I sober up, and then offer to donate your liver when mine inevitably fails. Oh, you've really thought this through, haven't you? Oh, it's the perfect love story. I'll drink to that. <laughs> oh, girl. Cheers, milady. Mm -hmm. Milady, I burped. <laughs> So, how are you? I'm great. Well, my grandpa came over for dinner and talked about those damn corrupted liberals the whole time. Bye! Oh, yeah, it was. But hey, I got roasted mashed potatoes out of it. Well, that makes it worth it. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I miss you. I miss you, too. Come home already! No way! You come here, you would lose your fucking mind over this place. I believe you. It's like, seriously, this place is so absolutely incredible. Yeah, I've been dying over those pictures you sent me. Oh, oh, that doesn't even do it justice. Like, you'll be walking down the street next to this building that says, Erected in 1624. <laughs> um, losing your mind because it's so old but like everyone there saying like oh friends thank you new and I'm just losing my fucking mind because it's older than our entire fucking country what are you laughing about well you said erected you are <laughs> erected Speaking of immature things that you're going to laugh about, <laughs> did you get the yeah. package I sent you? Oh, your, <laughs> your package. All in. You don't, you don't even have a package. You don't even like packages because you're a lesbian. <laughs> Olive, did you get the package I sent you? No, I haven't gotten it yet. Okay. Well, when you get it, just mm -hmm. let me know. I sent you some pretty cool stuff. Um, I sent you a t-shirt uh -huh. that says Queen Mary's University of London on it. Ooh. It's pretty cute. I have one that matches. Absolutely adorable, right? Adorable. <laughs> I also sent you a mug and um, a candle because you like that kind of shit and a tea towel and Wait, a... Wait, A tea towel? It's like a little tea towel. Yo, yo, what the fuck is a tea towel? Oh, it's, it's like a little hand towel. So why didn't you just say hand towel then? Well, because it's not a hand towel, it's a tea towel. Well, what's it used for? I don't know, like wiping your hands on the counter? I don't so know. It's literally just a hand towel. No, it's different. It's like a, a thinner material. It's like a very specific product. Well, I, but, uh... blah, 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 blah. I swear to God, you are making this way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> well, the word towel has certainly lost all meaning at this point. <laughs> This one has Big Ben on it. Oh. Are you in London? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, did you know that Big Ben is actually the name of the clock? Or, no, 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 the, not the clock, the bell in the in the clock tower. Oh. I mean, it's a, it's a very common mistake, but um, the locals, the locals hate it when people oh. say that. Yeah, <laughs> I think you told me that like three times now. Oh. Sorry. No, it's fine. I just, I'm just glad they're teaching you useful information. I mean, you're probably going to need to know all the distinctions between bells from bell towers for your thesis. <laughs> yes, yes. Lesson one was how that specific distinction is the root 
of the entire universe. Wow, science. Oh, yeah, mind-blowing, right? Oh, truly. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you will never guess who I met the other day. Oh, Benedict Cumberbatch? What? Oh, shot in the dark. Oh, no, um, Frank Drake. Who? Frank Drake. Like, the Drake, um, fuck. The Drake equation? Or, like, he helped with, uh, forming SETI. Oh, okay. I know I've heard you mention him before. Shit. Search for extra extraterrestrial intelligence. Oh, right. Alien hunters, like Mulder and Scully. Oh my god, no. They're not alien hunters. You know what? I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I met Frank fucking Drake, and it was the best day of my entire life. Well, I am happy for you, babe. <laughs> you beautiful, beautiful nerd. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I mean... Shit like that happens all the time over here. Like, uh, one of my classmates went to Cambridge, and he actually saw Stephen Hawking. Well, see, now him I've heard of. Oh, yeah, thanks to Eddie Redmayne. Ah, oh, thanks, Eddie Redmayne. I love him so much. I know you do. He's perfect. I'd leave you for him in a heartbeat. Mm. I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like you've been gone for a million years. I know. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry. I, I'm really happy for you. I just miss you so much. I miss you too. Yeah, you're so far away. I know, but I will be home before you know. Two months down, ten more to go. Have you made a paper chain yet? Counting oh, down the days. Oh yeah, I don't miss you that much. Oh, not enough to break out the arts and crafts? Oh, hell no. I'm not making a paper chain that's <laughs> 294 links long. I, I'll i just set a reminder on my phone in case I just happen to space it completely. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm sure we'll forget about each other by then. Oh, most likely. 294. You're counting down the days. I hate you so much. <laughs> no, you love me. You think I'm the best. Yeah. Okay, fine. I love you, and I think that you really are the best. I know. So how are things? How's work? It's fine. Right. Everything's fine. Emma's about to pop because uh, she's so pregnant, and rumors keep going around about who's going to get the management spot. When she leaves to have her baby. Oh, well, that'll be you. Uh, probably not. I think it's going to be that damned Ricky. Oh, fuck Ricky. Yeah. You've been there longer than he has. Yeah, but Kevin likes him more, so. But you work harder. I certainly think so. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, it doesn't. I don't want to be stuck permanently selling clothes to teenage girls just because I got a promotion and let myself get comfortable. I... I get it. Yeah. I hate working retail. So sick of it. I know you are. Why don't you quit? Oh, dear God, I couldn't quit. I, I have so much to pay for. There's always bills to pay. Yeah, but I, I need to save money. I need to actually figure out what I want to do before I throw caution to the wind and let myself be on the street as a result. That's fair, but sometimes I threw caution to the wind when I came out here. Sometimes you just have to take a big step, a big risk to do things that, like chasing your dreams. I know. I, I'm chasing my dream right now, and I just I just want to be able to see you chase yours as well. Yeah, well, not all of us have trust funds to pay for fancy graduate degrees from London. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. Oh, it was uncalled for. It's fine. 
Besides, if I were to quit my job, who would make sure that Harvey got his six square meals a day? The spoiled cat. Best in the world. Where is she? Harvey! Harvey, come here! Mark was on the computer. Oh, 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 yeah. Say hi to your other mommy. Hi, baby. Hi. I miss you. Tell her we're at. We've been having so much fun without her. Oh, I'll come home and I'll save you from all of tyranny soon, baby. I promise. She's not going to be able to recognize you when you get home. I know, I'm so worried. Yeah. You have to show him pictures of me every single day, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> I won't always be his favorite. You are a stone-cold bitch. Yes. Um, I love him more than I love you, just so you know. Oh, I know. I think we both sacrifice the other for the sake of Harvey. <laughs> Oh, yeah, as long as that's clear. Oh, Crystal. <laughs> so you sure your parents are okay with you having him with you at their house? Well, where I go, he goes. So I think that they're okay with it. They're nice about it anyway. I think Harvey misses the apartment, though. I know I do. I do, too. Living in a dorm is rough. <laughs> yeah, you thought you'd given up that life, didn't you? Oh, yeah, I did. I thought I'd spend the rest of my life sharing the bathroom with only one other person. Yeah, that's <laughs> a break. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you're not living in your parents' basement. Mm. True. <laughs> at least you're moving forward with your life and not backwards. <laughs> you're not moving backwards. Yeah, don't lie to make me feel better. Look, lots of people move back in with their parents after they go to college just to figure things out. Yeah, well, I'm not lots of people. I should be in New York by now. You're just being hard. You're just being hard on yourself. Yeah, and you're just being nice, and it's not helpful. Hey, at least you get your own bathroom. Yeah, using <laughs> the same toilet I did when I was in high school really makes me feel better about being a 24 year old freeloader. Well, shit, all if it can't be that bad. How's it going, really? It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it is nice to not worry about rent. And there's always Pop-Tarts in the cupboard, and... My mother calls if I'm not home by 10 o'clock, and it keeps trying to set me up with her friend's nice, handsome sons. <laughs> Olive! Ooh. This one's going to medical school! Medical <laughs> school! Can you imagine marrying a doctor? Um, you should tell her that you're dating an astrophysicist. Yeah, and then she'd be like, wait, isn't Parker for going to school to be an astrophysicist? <laughs> I mean, with all the blatant evidence, you'd think that it would click. <laughs> right, you'd think. I think I'm going to literally have to say, I know you thought we were just roommates, but we were fucking the whole time. Oh, I think that'll go over really well. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> eventually. Well, I don't want to do it right now. Oh, I'm living it or else it become this huge thing and I really believe that she gathered the whole family and try and pray the gay way uh, probably she'll just Swallow. latch on the whole I also like boys thing and you still might end up with some medical student <laughs> yeah and she'll probably do both oh oh Karen oh Karen <laughs> Um, well, babe, I should probably should go. Um, I have to, a lot of shit I've got to get done. I have to finish up my portion of our group project so that I can be all ready to go at our meeting at 7 tomorrow morning. Oh, that's early. Yeah, it's gross. Well, I know I live about 2 million miles away, but if you ever need help with anything, let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Um, if there's any distances that need to be measured, I'm pretty sure that I... I'll call you because you seem to have that down. Yeah, you're welcome. You're so lucky to have me. <laughs> I love you so much. Even when I'm drunk at all hours of the day. Oh, especially then. I always knew I was going to end up with a lush. We become our parents, don't we? Oh, inevitably. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you too.
There better be nudes in that package. <laughs> you won't be disappointed. Good. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Yeah, I should probably start getting ready for work pretty soon here. Yeah. I think you're the best. I think you are. I love you more than any book Carl Sagan ever wrote. Oh, I love you more than Disneyland. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Mm, sounds good. Good night, babe. Night.